बीएमएस एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है extracting the tubules attribute visibility application now we continue to learn something more about attributes block attributes manage data extraction example i will work out an example how a bill of material can be prepared from the drawing by making use of the attributes <coughs> now i will open the autocad drawing <coughs> this is the autocad drawing Here we will learn how to make about uh, bill of material, and before that, I will tell you what is block attribute. Attribute edit we have studied about block attribute manager. This is also uh, we have to do a block attribute manager. Here we can do lot of settings, and also we can edit. So this is an attribute manager where we have already done attributes. It is pre-prepared, so it's the R name. This is what uh, <coughs> we have done here. I will show you. Mm. So this is what we have uh, pre-prepared. So we are opening. Attribute manager. This is in uh, toolbar modify second toolbar that you can find out here. See this one. We have already ticked modify two, so that's why it appears there. And this is that. In this we have block attributes manager and block edit manager. This we have seen earlier, and this we will open now. This is what the brand black attribute manager resistance. This is that block which I have pre-prepared as usual. Our name I already assigned the tag for these things. Default I have given uh, modes we have given visible mode and uh, prompt mode attribute annotation I have not selected anything style standard that the dimension style and then justification left. We have selected left to screen. This is a text to justification. And height I have selected 20. Rotation zero. That is horizontal portion only. Zero angle. And width is one. That is width between the two alphabets is one. And oblique it is not oblique. And bounce same. And the layer name. This is green one is layer name. I will just show you that. See. Uh, click on this layer name. You can see this is layer name, and then we have uh, line type. It is by layer. Color that is also by layer. It is green color. I will show you later on. And then line weight that is also by layer. Plot style by color. Similarly, the other attributes we have selected is R value. R price, R value, and resistance. This is the prompt we ask for, and prompt we have set it Y Y. These are the things. Okay. Now suppose we just click on settings. See, it shows prompt default. Everything has been selected. Suppose I clear all. You just see what is going to happen. So there will be only tags will be seen here. So whatever we select, those things will be appearing. If, for example, I select only this tag, you cannot change it. Just to remain same. Suppose I select this, only the, the prompt has appeared. And suppose you select default, default value will appear here. Similarly, I select modes, modes will appear. That is, um, the prompt and value. Okay. And suppose I select something else, annotate to it shows no annotation. See, it shows no annotation. See, see. Similarly, if we select style, line styles will appear here. 
standard step. Okay. Similarly, is there a justification? Text to justification will appear there. See. Text to justification. Okay. Similarly, so whatever you select, height, height also appears like that. You can say select on whatever you want, you can select remaining, you need not tick. If you say select on everything will appear, the properties of the entire drawing, including the objects and the lines and all properties will appear from the attribute manager, that which manages the attribute. See, you can see everything here. Okay, so many things. And so, suppose you want to edit, you can do it here. You can modify, you can change. Similar text option, you can change. Properties, layers, and all you can change. Okay, similarly, the other one, all the things. Remain, remove, you can just click it on that, whatever is highlighted, that will be removed. And synchronize, just you click on that, it is already synchronized. Move down and up, you can see, see it has moved to the last. Move to the up, it has moved to the top. So uh, the order you can change it. Okay, now I will click this. This is what I wanted to explain you about the uh, block attribute block manager that I will explain you. Now, <coughs> see, I am going to give an example how we can extract the data. Then now I am coming to data extraction. Block attribute manager, I just explained you. Data extraction and example bit of material. Now we will deal with these two. These two goes together. So data extraction for that. We will do this exercise, then you will know how it can be extracted. See, data extraction means whatever the objects here in the uh, in the drawing, those will be those details, properties will be have taken and put it in the form of Excel sheet. And uh, this is how uh, the data is extracted. That will show you now. So, I have pre-prepared an attribute block. See, this is remain block. So, you know how to prepare an attribute. I have shown you earlier. I will show you once again. Make a block. The screen appears, and not this. I will just show you preparing attribute. Definition attribute manager like this. Visible, constant. Block, block, position, these things, with this we prepare. All name, we have clicked here, visible. Visible, invisible, we have not clicked. Verify and prompt, we have clicked. And so it appeared, our name. Okay? Like that, I have pre prepared all these things. Okay? And cancel it. Pre prepared everything. Here, yeah, this, this, this. And also a uh, symbol of resistance, electrical resistance is drawn here. This exact line is the symbol for electrical resistance. <coughs> so <coughs> these attributes are placed here. This can be moved to any position. See, move command. See, like this. We have placed it here. And this has been saved as a block with this block. We have saved here. The block is there. See, here, resistance block is there. This is already done. So I need not say once again. Similarly, there is one more block I have prepared. Uh, that is battery. This, this is another block I have prepared. It's just a battery. It indicates the voltage of the battery. We have an option to change its value. This you will know once I extract it. Okay. Now, what I do? This is base profile electrical uh, outline circuit. This is electrical circuit. Uh, this is some resistance here, some resistance here, another resistance here, one more resistance, one more. There are one, two, three, four, five resistance and one battery is set up one day. So for resistance, what I do, I will connect these things. I will uh, extract first. Let me erase these things. Uh, Insert. I will insert the block, resistance block. First, I will insert the battery block. Uh, I will click here, comes out here, and insert. 
practices function. So this is the, I have selected that 3, 12 volts and if you want you can change it. Suppose we change it, we can change here itself, 24 volts and we can also abbreviate it as 3 if you want. Okay. So either you click or select it like this in the attribute manager or you can call the attribute manager here. I uh, will show you where the this is attribute manager. You can call it and uh, you select the battery in a battery. Whatever attribute, block attributes are, everything will be shown here. And you click on this. You want to edit the settings are shown here. All these things are shown here. And you want to edit, you click on this. And here, there here are the things you can edit. And text blocks, you can change the voltage. Whatever voltage you want to have, you can change it here automatically. It will be changed. Default you can change or click on this, you can edit it. Okay, edit either from the block manager or here directly you can edit. Okay, now I have selected root this positive negative, this is terminal. <coughs> now, I will insert <coughs> the resistance. Resistance, click here. I can always insert. See, it's already the values have been selected. I have default values are shown here. Okay. You insert another one. And we can set some values here directly. See, R may be called as R1. Okay. And this is this is our value, value of the resistance. Say we will say 120 volts. Okay, 120 volts. And one more is Z. This is the value. Uh, that is price. Price you can say either rupees or dollars. Suppose you want to say in dollars, you can say in dollars. Point five. Just to know. I uh, indicate the value, it is not actual values. I mean, prices is, we don't know the price, we just put some um, value arbitrary. Okay? Apply it. See, this layer you can just see here. This layer, green, this is name layer. Okay? Price, this is the price layer. I have selected. Value, value on the layer is selected. And battery, a red layer is selected. We will see whether it is battery. We will see the layer what is selected here. Properties over 0. I will change it to battery layer. Here I can click change it to battery. Okay. And suppose you want to text option, you want to change the height of the text and all that. You can obviously change it. Value you can put it here. 50 height. It appears to be that. Okay, this is how we can change. And I have inserted one block here, values have been assigned, and I will select one more, one more resistance block, click here, enter, click. Okay, now, now save it. And now we have Name, we can give it as R2. Apply R2. Click. OK. And this will say 150 ohms. And this price will say something like 0 0.75. Dollar, we can use GP1. Okay. So similarly, we can call one more. Here. We will click it here. 90 degree to 70. Ok, 
Similarly, you can change the price. You transfer the price, change it to dollar one point five. Okay, why is the value say two fifty rooms? Okay. Resistance R3. Okay. Now, similarly, we can add another two more. Change the values. This we can call R four. This we can see value. See twenty and eighty volts. The arbitrary is arbitrary. We can say. Consider the price. We can say. Insert from there, or you can directly copy. So I can copy from here the blocks. Just you click here. You can insert or copy. Now you change the values. R four. We we'll make it R five. Fine. And then value will say two fifty three hundred rooms. You can see two uh, two point five something like that. Okay, so now this is all. Now we have prepared the entire circuit diagram with resistances. It is actually designed, and then the values have been added here. What are the resistances required? This is from electrical application. Battery also I have prepared one attribute. And then you add the wind transfer. That means you can change also if you require. So this is how it's prepared. Now from this, I will now let you know how we can extract the data. So that is the main uh, our object. So extract data. There is a modify. This is the uh, extract data. Similarly, in the pull menu, there in the pull down menu also there is some extract data is there somewhere. I'm going to edit. Some portion, maybe you. Uh, in some other place, it is there. And so now we'll. If you just find out, you can always get it. Modify possibly somewhere here. And you can extract data from some of these things, properties and all that. But now at present we have modified two. Here we we have the uh, toolbar to extract data. See, we click on this, it shows extract drawing data. And we we'll just data from the external source to a data extraction table or external file. Uh, expose object properly, draw attributes and drawing information to a data extraction table or to an extraction external file, and specify a data link to an Excel spreadsheet. So now I will just demonstrate how this can be uh, directly goes under Excel sheet. Now what we do is click on this. See, there is on screen up here data extraction. This actually computer will do, and we have to just follow it. 
See here there are two columns. One is create a new data extraction or use previous extraction as a template. That is previously you have some uh, Excel file. We want to uh, a template file with Excel all the columns and all depicted properly. Uh, headlines everything. And then you can click this. You can call that uh, here. Here like this you can call. Now or edit existing extraction data, edit also you can do like this, you can go there and extract the edit data. Now at present what I am doing is uh, I am creating a new data extraction. Okay, for this one. So I click on this create a new data extraction data, then you click next. Uh, there's nothing here. Click next. It asks you where to save. Just check it. Uh, this is not the create extraction data. One second, we'll come once again. There is maybe some step. steps have been skipped. Let us see. Ah, it's okay. Same thing. So, first uh, stage and next click it. And you have to save it in some. We saved as DXC file. So, what we do is so you select somewhere in some file. Now I am arbitrarily selecting one uh, folder and putting it there. See here, CSR folder. Here. And I will go to AutoCAD. Here and save it. I can call, it's already there, the one BOM bill of material uh, exists. So I will save it, I will rename it. Or I can save as a separate thing. So now I am saving as and the same so it will be overwritten whatever some data is available already and that will be overwritten if, it, if the data you don't want to overwrite then you have to save as bom one or something like that a separate file is created now i save it as bom and click it is filed as dxc file click on this so it asks you whether we replace if the new data is there, it doesn't ask you. If you save as a new file, it doesn't ask. No, since already one file is there, it asks you. Click it yes. Now, here we come. Object sheet set include current drawing. Select object from the current drawing. We click this. Include select object from the current drawing. Or include from the current drawing also, we can say. Or we can select here. Otherwise, what we have to do? Drawing sheet set we have to correct. Otherwise, we have done only one drawing here, so we will uh, select this. So, we will select object from the current drawing. Then, uh, you can click on that and select it. Before that, I will show you some more detail. Settings. So, extract the data, extraction settings, we have to see. Extract object from blocks. See, only objects can be extracted from the blocks and extract object from X reference. X reference is another uh, term used for a different type of file that I will discuss in the next class and this is not there is no X reference and uncheck this. Include X reference block from include objects in model space. See there is no other this is called model space this screen and layout one layout two is called as paper space. Paper space there is nothing and we can just select it start from object in the model space. You can click this. Okay. Uh, now, uh, settings I have shown you. Now, uh, we have to extract the data. So, select object in the current drawing, click on this, and we have to select. So either you can select only individual one, only one, or you want to have the data, the entire data, the entire drawing, then you have to Select the entire thing, so click as window. So it gives an opportunity to select the entire thing in, inside a rectangle. So click it and select and press return. Uh, here is once again. So here you have selected, then you click next. So here comes another screen, angle, area, author, battery. Uh, block unit, close, color, everything is coming over here. 3D attribute, so many things, some more details. 3D visualization, these are the things which are covered here. Okay, so I will first click the entire thing, let it be there, and then I will come out to select other things. And click on this. And now, 
So you can reorder the, if you want you can sort it and reorder these things. You know in the Excel how to reorder, the same way you have to follow that. Okay, these are the uh, various attributes. So see, all are selected, file access, file created, uh, file last saved, and uh, a folder, a file modified, all these things. So identical column, chart, but everything will be there. Either you can input external data, another data you can transfer there, or sort column by options, you can select which is first, which is second. Um, these are all similar to Excel, which I won't explain you, you can follow Excel with it. And now I'll click uh, next. It asks you. Now insert data extraction table into the drawing. Either you can insert the table, table into the drawing or you can save it as an output file. So I will save it as an output file now. So it asks you where it uh, So uh, what you do is uh, you can change this output file clip. You can change this, which is somewhere here. I will bring it to the same folder. You can save anywhere, but from simplicity, I will bring it to the same folder. I have somewhere here. Here. So, BWM already exists, but I will redo it and save. As you save. Okay. Next, click it. Now we can see on the Excel sheet the entire uh, thing, what all the data have been extracted. I will show you that. Excel sheet, you go on. What is the Excel sheet there? Simple drawing. See, the first line will be headings. Uh, you can highlight and change the, the way you need, make it lock like this. And these are the headings. And then comes your car count number 1, 2, 3, like that count. How many objects are there? Attribute definition by layer. What we have defined is by level. This is this is comments, any comments is there you can give. Constant, that is what we saw in the attribute as constant. That is not uh, nothing is there. Constant uh, attributes are not there. And then drawing, uh, revision number, whatever we said, that we are not done anything. Uh, drawing revision number it is not there. And here it shows only zero zero, that's why. Number we are not given. File access to that also is not there. File last and then file locked. File location, where is it? The directory. Where we have saved it, this is given. Each one of that. And file mode, modified. Any file has been modified. See, this is modified the time it gives. And I add this date and this like that. When it was modified, all this thing it gives. See. File size, how much is the file size? Is a single file, all on the same. Height, this is it. Alphabetical uh, height, 20, 25, 20, all of them. Hyperlink is not discussed now. Invisible is also not keyword, is not a layer. The layers, what are the layers? Values one layer, price one layer, name one layer, like that. And what are these layers? Definition, like this line is in zero layer, other layer is in. This is the name, is in attribute definition, is name layer, like that. It gives all those things. Okay, line weight is also given, drawing, type, and all the things. What we are instructed to instruct a normal development means the position, this is x coordinate, y coordinates, and here come prompt. What is the 
resistance. Uh, this is down earth. This is the name, the voltage. Similarly, the next one is down earth. There are five attributes, no, five, five resistances. Each one of them it gives the values. R value is the tag what is given. And uh, initially, the edit values are in 600. And then it gives the values here. There one point five this value value initially say twelve dollars twelve volts is inserted and here it gives delta and all that thing will be given. Okay, this is how we can change. <coughs> now I will close this and will extract only what is required for us. Okay, I want to give the extraction. Now I will show you uh, how we can select the uh, <coughs> settings, what we need. Only if you want to need only the prop attributes, values and other things, you can select it. If uh, it becomes a bill of material, I will click here. Uh, create from a data extraction, uh, create from new data extraction as you can click here and call it as bill of material and you replace it and then include current drawing instead of that we select the object from the drawing settings here. Uh, I have to select it. Like this, then we go to settings. Say so extract from X reference is not there. Click this. R bit in the drawing. The model space. So this is called model space. I selected it. And even if you select the paper space, then nothing will be visible. Okay. Next, select so this. We don't want uh, 3D visualization, we don't want drawing, you don't want to drawing properties, the layer properties and all that you don't want. And general you don't want, geometry you don't want, machinery you don't want, text you don't want, attributes only these things. And I will see what are things we get in this. Okay? And then now, this is what it appears. So these are the things. Count the bill of material. Count resistance. Name of the resistance, battery, or value. This is what we normally we are interested in the bill of material. Because we are not interested in layer size and all that. Uh, when you want to prepare a bill of material, so these are the things only uh, you are interested in. So next click next. So then output you save. So I will save it in some other directory. Like this, click this, go there. Sunday. Then here I will replace. Last time you have seen so many things for their properties. Now you just see what are the properties available for us. Click here. Finish. Now we will go to bill of material. Excel sheet. Select. Here and like this. See, it's just bill of material. So it has taken whatever is required, only attributes are attributed. So it has taken only name, resistance. See resistance, our name of the resistance is R3. So R1, R1 resistance will have 5.5 dollars and 120 volts. Similar battery, 24 volts only battery, there is no other thing. And this polyline which has come, don't worry about it, you forget about it because that is on the drying part of it, the line we have drawn. Resistance to R2, you have here 5.7 dollars, R5 is 2.5, R4 is 
and then 16 attitude. This is also normally we don't require. So it appears and we can delete. So this is how we can prepare a bill of material and list of parts. Bill of material and list of parts uh, by making use of the drawings for a value task. And that is drawings having attributes. Okay, this is how we can prepare the bill of material. This, this uh, class. Uh, example I have given you is the uh, properties and usage of uh, attributes this and this together complete this. In the next class we will deal with the X reference and other things and uh, some more things this is called this is X reference understanding application X reference etc. And also we have to discuss some miscellaneous comments that also we will discuss in the next class. Now I am going to close this.